A single red dot glorifies the Trinity. Okay? A single red dot of Jesus' blood washed my sins away. Um, now, um, what is the... Uh, because the Bible says, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. Well, that means when the very first tiny dot of blood was shed from Jesus, it was already accomplished. Um, so, um, how does the word every add up? It's, very, it's in the 60s, I believe. 27, oh no, it's every is 30, 57, every is 75. So, yeah, every single red dot, okay. For love. Okay, so, ask me out. What does that all add to? There's a beautiful 66, 84 plus 21, 105. And by the way, when you speak 105 in text, it divides by 3. Beautiful. 105 for the number 3. Ask me out. Saul's ask me. Let's let the marathon continue. And of course, the most important asking you will ever do in this life is not asking questions to a person, it's asking questions to God. That is the most important person you need to ask daily. God, what do you want me to do right now? God, what is the word for today? God, should I ask this woman out? That's so important. The man should be led by God in his pursuit of someone. So that girls don't get frustrated and heartbroken and you know the whole. Okay. All right. I'm just going to keep going in order. Some of these are fun. Who doesn't love this one? Yes, dear. Oh, boy. Now, there's a funny one. Yes, dear. Let's solve every yes, dear, that has ever been spoken in the history of the universe. Man or woman? Yes, dear. <laughs> now, the problem with this one is you can say this in every tone of voice imaginable. Yes, dear. Okay, that's the one you don't want to hear. The one you do like to hear is, yes, dear? That was better. I'm sure someone can do better than that. <laughs> yes, dear? It's, it really depends on the personalities involved. <laughs> like, this is one that you, pronunciation means a lot. Like, you don't pull out the old yes, dear, unless you you know, are in love with the person and you're just very comfortable with each other and you just know each other and, you know, yes, dear? <laughs> I mean, you don't want to hear that one. It's like, okay, but let's solve every yes, dear. These are two of the biggest words in world history, yes and dear. I mean, we say dear God. Dear God. Can you please help me with school tomorrow? Um, yes, dear. Whew. Well, it's obvious what God has ordained here. Yes, this is the famous 24 AAA. To the glory of Jesus equals A to A. And same thing with the word dear. 24 equals A to A. And it's very obvious because the E's are the same. S is 19. And then this 19 gets composed of 1 plus 18. Like, it's the most obvious way to make 19 is 1 plus 18. It's like, uh, how do you... Give me an equation that adds 19. 1 plus 18. <laughs> Done. Okay. Um, y is plus 1 over multiple 3. D is plus 1 over. So, yes, dear... You're saying, 
Jesus. Every time. Every time you say the word yes, you're glorifying Jesus equals it. Every time you say the word dear, you're glorifying Jesus equals it. To put a very famous one on the board, when we pray, dear God, now you have perfectly three plus ones that knit together to make 15, then you have this 15, then you have another 24. Dear God, I believe, equals love, which equals 54. Let's just double check. I just want to make sure. We had 15 plus 15, that makes 30, plus 24 in dear equals love. 54. So whenever a child says, Dear God, what they are literally saying in the ears of God is love. That's exactly what they're saying in the ears of God. Dear God equals love. God is equals love. So when you say God is love, that's a pair of loves. God is love. 54 plus 54 is one way. Dear God, love me. He already does. You know? <laughs> dear God. Okay. But when you say yes, dear, that's, that's the beautiful parallelism there. Honey! Yes, dear! <laughs> that's usually the one where like the man is in the garage or like on the, you know, the bottom floor and the woman is upstairs, there's a phone call or the kids did something. Honey! Yes, dear! <laughs> Busy at the moment! <laughs> I mean, what happens if you knit together a honey with all this? You know, honey! Honey, I'm home! Um, <laughs> oh, boy! I can't, honey, I'm home divides by three! <laughs> okay, honey, I'm home! Honey! Honey! I'm home! <laughs> and we're gonna do the math on that because that is a classic. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Um, yes, dear. Um, <laughs> so the offset of honey is, oh yeah. So this is amazing. Divine words, we just get in real time. So honey is plus one. Yes is plus one. Dear is plus one. That's three plus ones. The whole thing then perfectly divides by three. So one more time. Here's the perfect script. Three words that are going to come out of my mouth that divide by three perfectly. Here we go. Honey. Yes, dear! <laughs> or, honey! Yes, dear! That was the female counterpart. Um, okay, so, honey plus yes, dear. Let's get that on the board. Honey plus yes, dear. It's a divine word triangle that glorifies the Trinity. It needs, so here's the divine word triangle here. This is what we're putting together. Honey plus yes plus dear. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm just going to put these guys together. The Y is a plus one on the end here. Um, <clears throat> and amazingly, if you do it like that, these three plus ones knit together to make love. No joke. 25 plus 25 plus 4 equals love. So, plus one, plus one, plus one. Knit together perfectly. Honey! Yes, dear. Love. I, I, I can't get enough of this one. Honey! Yes, dear. Honey! Yes, dear! Honey! Yes, dear. In every tone you can imagine, God's hearing it all, day and night, just like boom. Um. <laughs> okay, in pure naturalism now. Honey! Yes, dear? The old look, the old, the man just like completely like, whoa, sirens calling. It's like, drop everything. It's like as soon as, he, as soon as the man hears that word honey, he's just like, Yes, dear, like full 360, or 180, I guess. A 360 would effectively like spin him around. Um, if he pulls a 540, by the way, love equals 54. If he pulls a 540, that's love, like defined. If he pulls a 540, that, that's how you know he's really in love with you, because he pulls a, a full spin, plus he, he, he makes sure he ends up turning around to see you, okay? That's a 540, it's love times 10, literally. Oh, so. Honey, yes, dear. There it is. There, there's. The <laughs> or he'll, or he'll do like a jump spin. So here he is working at the shop. 
Honey? Yes, dear? It's like all systems firing. Um, okay. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, by the way, when I say 540, that divides by 3. 5 40. Both words 5 and 40 in text divide by 3. So I recommend pulling the 540 for your spouse regularly. Particularly when they say, honey, you respond saying, yes, dear, with a full 540 turn. Honey? <laughs> yeah, here it is from, from behind me. Honey? Yes, dear? I gotta, I gotta practice that. I, I really gotta practice that one more time. Honey? Yes, dear? <laughs> it's like I am turning to you with a bit of entertainment involved. Um, okay. So, y plus y plus d equals 54 equals love. And then equals divides by 3, love divides by 3, of course. So we got the love. There we go. So what is this now? What is, the, what is this in honey? That's, um, ooh, a beautiful 27, the perfect cube of 3 in these three letters that don't divide by 3, and they're all plus 2. Beautiful. And then add the O to make 42. So I want to get this total. Honey, yes, dear. 42 plus 54 equals 96, plus 24, we're at 120. you got to be kidding me. We're, already, we're sitting at 120, which is perfect. And then now we have another 24 points here, which is 144, which divides by 3 when I speak it in text. And it's the perfect square of 12. And it's precisely the dimensions of everything you can name in the heavenly city Jerusalem from Revelation, the final chapters basically God's favorite number in heaven. Honey, yes dear? 12 times 12, perfectly. I felt like I had to turn like, like that was like the classic C-3PO turn when he's just had a revelation. I've just computed, ought to, I've just computed that honey, yes dear, adds to 144. <laughs> I am programmed in over three million forms of communication. Honey, <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> in 12 letters, no less. Honey, yes, dear. 12 letters that add to 12 times 12. Okay. By the way, these are divine scripts that need to be put in movies and in plays because they're perfect to the glory of the King of Heaven. You know, God watches plays. He's also checking the numbers on the script. Make sure that it adds up as good as it can. Honey? Yes, dear? God says, ah, music to my ears. Get this play, get this play on the stage, please. Um, so, honey, this is like favorite beyond it. So, honey, yes, dear, equals 12 times 12 in 12 letters. And of course, whenever you speak the word 12 and letters, both of those divide by three, letter for letter. So, honey, yes, dear? And of course, this would have like a question mark, typically. Honey, yes, dear? Okay. <laughs> it's to 12 times 12 in 12 letters. I can't pass this one up. One more time. Honey! Yes, dear? <laughs> you know that, who knows what that couple would look like. Um, honey? Yes, dear? Um, honey? Yes, dear? That's the uh, opera couple. Honey? Yes, dear? Um, okay. You get the idea. 12 times 12 and 12 letters with love, like, embedded multiple times. And, um, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to solve, honey, I'm home. <laughs> Slams the door. Wham! <laughs> by the way, wham divides by three. Let's, let's just get all this stuff. And slam divides by three. So whether you wham or you slam, that door divides by three. Honey, I'm home. Wham! <laughs> Everyone knows it's satisfying. We just haven't been told why. Honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm home. 
slam. It's just like boom. It's like I have arrived. Like, you know. <laughs> Wham. Divides by three. And then you can go even higher and say whammo. You know. Oh man. She hit me like a truck. Wham. Um, slam. So whether you say wham or slam, whether you wham that door or slam that door. So first you what you do is first you slam the door, and then it goes wham when it hits. You go slam wham. You know it's like the slam would maybe be like the swing, and then like the wham is like the impact moment. Whammo. So honey, I'm home. Wham. So wham adds to this is awesome. Uh, nine plus. 36, 45, wow, composed of 9 plus 36, 9 plus quadruple 9, and then if you say whammo, <laughs> that adds up to 60 perfectly, wham, okay, and then slam is um, 33 plus 12 is 45, amazing, amazing, <laughs> holy ghost, wham equals slam equals 45, that's insane. I mean, they both share the final, that we shouldn't be surprised, they both share the final two letters, so that means the S and the L equal the same thing as the W and the H. Did I do this correctly? One more time here. 19 plus 12, 31. Yeah, it works, folks. It works. W plus H equals 31. S plus L equals 31. And then A and M is 14. So wham equals slam for the number three. Wham equals slam for the glory of the, tr the trinity. Wham! She just hit me like lightning. Slam! Boom. Boom divides by three. There goes the door. Boom equals 45. God help me. Boom equals 45. I feel like Christopher Lloyd off Back to the Future where he just keeps getting epiphanies. Um, so boom, boom equals 45. <laughs> I mean, these are the key moments in the plays, you know, when, when something, wham, slam, boom, crash. Okay, boom equals 45. Like, this is just ridiculous. I mean, Wham, e wham equals slam equals boom, 45. And boom is really obvious because it's 15 plus 15 plus 15. <laughs> and then so you can add an O on the end of all these because O is 15. So you can say whammo, slammo, boomo. <laughs> more, more threes. O, O, O. Here we go. Um, so here we go, all together. Honey, I'm home. Wham. So let's do the math on honey, I'm home. Um, I can't stop saying this phrase. It's too funny. Honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm home. <clears throat> Everyone loves to say it. Okay, so 42. Okay, let's, how do we want to get this together? Well, oh, come off it. Does it? Okay. Maybe it does not divide by three. No, I'm seeing folks that it does not divide by three. I apologize. There's something missing here. Um, I'm home divides by three. That's the calculation I did in my head. I'm home. Okay. Um, and that's 18 plus 21 is 39 plus 24 is 63. I'm home. When you say I'm home. Um, and then when you say I am coming home, that also divides by three. But honey does not divide by three all by itself. We need something else in this situation that divides by three perfectly. Belle, I'm home, if that's your wife's name, Belle. That works. And that's beautiful, because that's 36 plus 63, which adds to 99, perfectly. Beautiful, like, you know, 36 here, you know. Marry a woman whose first name divides by three. That, that'll work, okay? Um, 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 okay, but, okay, that was still playing epically awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of course, this this trio, this this whole thing could could surpass, could could happen. Um, honey, yes, dear, I'm home. 
That's nice, dear. No, she should be more enjoyable than that. Honey, yes, dear, I'm home. Why didn't you say so, darling? <laughs> oh boy, now that's fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta be a script writer at some point. 18 plus 21. You know, if you said, honey, honey, yes, dear, I'm home. <laughs> that's perfectly to uh, 207 which is nine times the ninth prime. That is funny. Now that, you can make that really funny with the right people. Honey, yes dear, I'm home. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, how else would I have heard your voice? Um, and voice equals love, of course. So, <clears throat> wow, that was so cool. Honey, yes dear, that, that's my favorite. Honey. Yes, dear. 540. Uh, 144 in 12 times 12 letters. Okay. I wonder what the divine phrase drop everything. <laughs> drop everything divides by three. Let's all men let us remember this one. Drop everything divides by three. Okay? So let's let's make some space on the board here. <clears throat> That's the beauty of video, it's all recorded and we can just Keep going in our love marathon here. This is our love marathon. Um, by the way, preach divides by three. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. So drop everything. Sometimes you have to drop everything for someone else. Drop everything. really special here because every divides by three these center letters divide by three and I go like this and the reason I go like this is because these divine combos make 24 triple eight 24 triple eight and then the famous ing ending is of course not to be touched with in my opinion that's 30 everywhere it occurs and then every is um, uh, 75 okay <clears throat> divides by three um, just double checking my numbers there. Uh, yes, <clears throat> and uh, and then R O is thirty three, and then this is so beautiful. I love this. This is what I did in my mind. Twenty four triple eight, twenty four triple eight. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> drop everything. So, honey, yes, dear. Drop everything. <laughs> That's a wise man. <laughs> honey, yes, dear. Drop everything. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. <laughs> Drop everything. Um, she needs help or wants help. Okay. So that's seventy-five. That's one hundred five plus thirty-three is one hundred. Um, one hundred thirty-eight plus twenty-four is one hundred sixty-two plus another twenty-four. Is 186. Drop everything. Drop everything. That's an act of love. <clears throat> Pure threes to drop everything for someone. <clears throat> Don't you love solving things in, your, in real time? Okay. Drop everything. Okay. Perfect. And again, if your wife's name divides by three, you can just milk this to no end. Drop everything for Bell. Drop everything for. Leia, drop every like L A Y A, you know. <laughs> Why not? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So <clears throat> onward, and never forget. So all of that. Do you see how much glory we got from one tiny token that says "Yes, dear"? Amazing. And it's written on orange, no less. Red. Plus orange. Red divides by three and orange divides by three. Orange is my favorite flavor of these six colors. They are different flavors. Six colors of Conversation Hearts. Orange is my favorite flavor. And I have always loved orange bar none. I love orange chocolate mints. I love orange, the, uh, the terry oranges, the orange chocolate uh, things that you crack. And they split, fall apart into the nice chocolate slices that you just... 
shoving your mouth like a pair of braces and you're just like orange chocolate um, <laughs> and orange equals 60 perfectly um, which equals so many things pure holy pray believe desire 60 word 60 so there we go that was awesome what an awesome journey from a single candy. All right, let's keep the marathon going. Who's next? Oh, this is a fun, simple one. I like cute ones like this. Cool Cat. Cool Cat. This one's super easy. I'm not going to write it on the board because it's so easy. Every letter in cool divides by three. Cat equals 24. Both start with C, which is three. What does Cool Cat add to? You can easily find love in Cool Cat. 30 plus 24, 54. Done. Found. Love. And then uh, <clears throat> 60, no way. Cool cat equals 69 equals Jehovah equals checkmate. Apparently these are phrases that we need to bring back from the 70s or where, whatever era it was that cool cat was really floating around. Because that is a holy dignified phrase for the number three. Like that is just like screaming out at me, saying, Trinity, 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 cool cat. I, I, I'm guessing this would have been spoken primarily of guys, you know, girls talking together, you know, on their way to the bathroom, you know, beneath their breath. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's a real cool cat, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't use cool cat that often, but perhaps I should. Um, <laughs> she's a real cool cat. Yeah, man. I meant, man, she's a... It's like the, the guys, you know, hanging around. Oh, she's a real cool cat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's all good. You know, two spouses. You're such a cool cat, honey. All right. I'm loving it. <laughs> Valentine's Day, you know, romantic dinner, dark lighting everywhere, dressed up, single rows in between a couple, really sentimental. You know, honey, I just want to let you know <clears throat> that you are a real cool cat. <laughs> and I guarantee it'll make the person laugh if they understand the numbers that you're giving to them, okay? 3, 15, 15, 12, 3, 21. <laughs> okay? You can literally string these together in order like this and have a little central party like this and you're just, you know, like that and make it all symmetrical and it's just beautiful. But cool cat equals 69 equals Jehovah. Using the same number of letters, no less. So literally, you can write cool cat underneath Jehovah, you've got the same number of letters with the center letters dividing by three, and then the next pair of letters knit together, genius. These two guys knit together to divide by three. It seems to me that Jehovah likes the phrase cool cat and that he ordained it for the cause of love. Look at, we've just, we've just laid it before our very eyes. I've just framed all the multiples of three between Jehovah and cool cat. Cool cat. Man. Guys used to hang out like crazy. People used to hang out in their cars. He's a real cool cat, man. That's what the guys would say. Oh yeah, he's a real he's a cool cat. Like it was just fun. And divine. Cool cat. And then you can say the cool cat because you know every school had the cool cat or the cool cat in town. <laughs> that then bumps it up to 102. 102, the first three digit number that divides by three. The cool cat. Okay? And of course, I suppose you can have a cat that's cool, but <clears throat> this is a love term cool cat. 
I love it. Like so many C's and O's. Two C's, two O's. God's favorite letters to glorify number three. Cool cat. Let's bring it back. Bring it back, y'all. Bring it back. Bring it back to the vocab. Bring it to the political arena. I want to see Stephen Harper from the Prime Minister's stand <laughs> use the phrase cool cat. <laughs> I want to see the monarch of the British Empire say, you know, my husband is a real cool cat. You know, obviously the queen I'm talking about. <laughs> queen of my husband is a real cool cat. You know, we, uh, we loved each other from the very beginning. I want to see this phrase come back. Um, <laughs> cool cat. You see how fun these are? These God has reserved the highest glory in the simplest of words. I mean, the word cool and the word cat are two of the simplest words that children ever learn. ABC books. C is for cat. Everyone says the word cool. Cool cat. Cool cat. Who would I use that on? Once you're in love, you can pull off anything. Like, you have permission to say anything once you're madly in love. <laughs> hey, cool cat. Like, you gotta be silly in love for them to, like, not care. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I wonder if the word quintessential <laughs> defies by three. Not quite, it has to knit together. Okay, cool cat. She's my cool cat. He's my cool cat. We own a cool cat. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, this is a fun one. Are we done with cool cat? Bell, cool cat. Like, you can just, like, add all these names that divide by three. Cool cat. Oh, man. We need more nostalgia in our world. You know, when people used to hang out in the old stylized cars, you know what I'm talking about? That's when the language cool cat was around. Drive-in theaters. People hanging out their car windows. That's when Cool Cat was floating around on people's lips and, oh, he's a real cool cat. Drive up in his Cadillac or his big Chevrolet, you know, with the white, you know, seating and, you know, whatever, dice in the mirror, I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, the, the beautiful boat wing, you know, cars and big boats, man. But they were all beautiful. They were all, a lot of love put into them. She's a real cool cat. People just hung out more. People dated more. They had less technology interfering with that process. <clears throat> and they spent more time together. Cool cat. That's just ringing a bell on some distant... Yeah. Anyways, okay. I just, I'm in love with the phrase cool cat now. Equals Jehovah. Cool cat. Can you think of anyone in your life right now that, you know, you would say, oh yeah, cool cat, that's awesome. Amazing. Okay. Girl talk. This is a fun one. Okay, girl talk. It's a great one. Divides by three. Let's solve it. Girl talk. These are some, I love how Valentine's brings together some of the most big, epic, common words and just puts them together. I mean, girl and the word talk. Girl talk. What every guy wishes he knew from the beginning. Let's, put, let's plant a, mic, a secret microphone in the room at the girls' slumber party. Actually, I don't know if we want to go there. I mean, that gets out of hand, maybe. <laughs> but, you know, what do they say when they talk to each other? <laughs> girl talk. Or, of course, the guys get together and they talk about girls. It's like, girl talk. Um, let's solve it for the glory of the Trinity. 
It's fun. 12 plus 12. 12, 12, every letter divides by 3. Look at all the 12s. Triple of 12s. I mean, Bell has a triple of 12s. And then look at another pair. Look at that. Wow. 27, the perfect cube of 3. 27, the perfect cube of 3. There's a love for you in four letters. Okay. Ah, the word grit equals love. And that's beautiful. A pair of 27s. You know, sometimes love takes grit. And we've just proven that mathematically. <clears throat> sometimes love takes grit. 27 plus 27. 27 plus 27. Perfect cube of 3 double. And that's sitting right here in this divine phrase, girl talk. Okay. Um, oh, wow. So we got, good night. I mean, what more do you, can you ask for? Um, incredible. So, um, the other thing you can do is you can collect bookends. Because if you were to spell this phrase left to right, you know, um, you can put the bookends together to make 18. And then you have a 21 sitting right here. And you have another 18, 9 here. So you can get a bunch of really even teams if you do it like this. In this case, you can get, let's put these two guys together. Let's leave him by himself. You get 21, 21, 18, 21. Or you get 18, 21, 21, 18, 12. Like. So girl talk. 54 plus 12 is 66 plus 12 is 78 plus 12. Oh my goodness, girl talk equals 90. Oh, so king for the number 3. Girl talk equals 90. And 90 when you speak it divides by 3 in text. Girl talk. We've just solved all girl talk for the glory of the Trinity. Girl talk. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? Did he really? What did you say? I, I didn't know. <laughs> As they try and like strengthen and like, you know, support. <laughs> I love it. It's like. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. Um, girl talk adds to 90 perfectly. Um, and then you can count the number of strokes in there. Uh, it doesn't quite divide by three, but girl talk equals 90. So then when you say that phrase, girl talk equals 90, everything that I just said divides by three. Girl talk. I mean, just go on a magic carpet ride, you know, think of all the girl conversations you've ever heard in your life and, you know, ever, whatever, and just get happy. I mean, it's, it's joyful, you know, listening, listening to the girls talk. So much fun. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, we solved that one. The marathon continues. The love marathon continues. Um... Who's next? Next up is... <laughs> I'm going to do that. You know what? I picked it up. Let's do it. This is fun. I'm, look at this, folks. Before our very eyes, this is sitting on that candy. It says... Can you read it? It's hard to read, I know. It says Mega Kiss. Wouldn't you love to be in the, in the meeting room with the people that got to come up with these things? <laughs> Mega kiss. Mega kiss. Come on now. 24, triple A. 9, 3 times 3. <clears throat> and then you can spell the famous word gas, which is 27. And then an E and S is 24. A mega kiss, okay? Adds to... <clears throat> so there, here's our... Um, wow. 
So uh, you could probably find a, uh, a 54 equals 11 there somehow, but 24, 48 plus 9, 57 plus 27 equals 84. Perfect for number 3. 7 twelves. Mega kiss. And then you can talk about the mega kiss. That bumps it up to 1 with 117, <coughs> which equals mathematician. Mega kiss. Um, I mean, you can have the simple kiss, or you can have the mega kiss. <clears throat> by the way, simple kiss divides by 3. How fitting that we spoke that. Simple kiss. <clears throat> or you can say simple kissing. Okay, You can say mega kissing, because ING adds 30 points. So, um, and look at it, they actually kind of knit together in the same way. The first two letters knit together. Simple kiss is 30 points there. And then you can grab these three letters, these three plus ones, this lovely triangle in the middle. And then the SE makes 24. And then you grab these letters, dividing by three, and beautiful balanced look, three letters. A simple kiss. Uh, I want to know what simple kiss adds to. Because uh, first you can have a simple kiss. And then, you know, <clears throat> once you're married, <laughs> you know, or you've, you're like completely intimate with each other, <laughs> then you can have a mega kiss. <laughs> but first, you probably start with a simple kiss. <clears throat> so, 30 plus uh, 13 plus 29. 13 plus 16 is uh, 29. 13 is 48 in the center here. This is 24. Then we have these three final letters are 9, 12, and um, 9, which makes 30. Another 30 of the three letters that divide by 3. So that's um, 60. That's 108 <clears throat> plus uh, 24 is um, 132. Simple kiss. And then simple kissing is 162, which is a triple of love. Okay. So, whether you have the Mega kiss or the simple kiss it divides by three. Mega kiss. <laughs> oh boy, wonderful. That's a fun one. I like fun ones. I I really do like the fun ones, like mega kiss. Like you know how they they ha you know they they handle these these conversation hearts, these hard candies. Um, and that's what I would call them. I'd call them heart candy. Anyways, you know, <laughs> they hand these out just to people and, I don't know, sometimes, whatever. It's like the guy, that, the guy that gets the one that says mega kiss, it's like just pure laughter. Okay. Okay. The Love Marathon continues. Um, what's next? Oh, I like this one. This one touches me deeply, and it touches most women deeply. My man, isn't that absolutely flawless? In only five letters, like the two shortest words you can imagine for Valentine's. My man. Oh, and they both start with M, which is so king for the number three because it's 13. My man. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. We gotta sink in and just absorb this fabulous creation of God. One more time. Let's get that right into the lens. My man. Written in nice red letters. My man. Let's solve it. My man. <clears throat> okay, that's what every woman is thinking about. My man, okay. Um, of course, okay. Of course, <clears throat> you know, good buddies will just pull up this phrase and say like, my man, what's going on? <laughs> it's awesome. My man, what's up? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, 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 Okay. My man, though. I mean, this is for Valentine's. This is a woman thinking about her man. And this is just... 
So the two atoms are 13, came for the number 3. All factor 3, the 6th prime, double 3. My man. But this is super beautifully simple. You can do this a couple of ways. And I'm just going to do it this first way, okay, where you've got 3 plus 1s. Okay. In fact, you've got 4 plus 1s. Not as, this is very beautiful, this phrase here, because not a single letter divides by 3 all by itself. Every single letter does not divide by 3. They all need to knit together to make the gorgeous package that they make. Okay. Plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus two. That's six perfectly, so it's going to divide by three. My man. See that? Because God is three persons. It's all about teamwork. God is three persons. God is a team. God is love. My man. Oh, my man. Okay. So, let's jump straight to the kisser. What does it add to? 39 plus um, 27 <clears throat> is 66. Wow. So good for the number 3. 66, which by the way equals family, equals happy, equals blessed. These are all the words a woman wants. Family, happy, blessed. By the way, this also equals the word woman itself. These are very famous words for the number three. Okay. By the way, lady equals female, equals 42 divided by three, but divine phrase, my man, equals 66, equals happy, equals blessed, equals family, you know. My man, my man. This is my man. Like, that is what a woman wants to say. This is my man. That's what Eve said to Adam. This is my man. And then, so this is, divides by 3. Okay. S, T, S, H. Too obvious. This is. As to, um, what does it add to? 36 plus 9, 45 plus 39 is... Um, 84. So now when you say, watch well, how perfect this is now, when you say, this is my man. Look at the two puzzle pieces about to come together. A 6 and a 4 is going to make a nice 10. This is my man. One hundred fifty perfectly, which in text was the 3. So, this is my man. This is this, so this is a woman speaking. This is my man. This is him. Him divides by three. Him. In three letters, because God is three persons. Okay? Him adds to 30 perfectly. By the way, every hymn, every song that we sing to God, the word him, spelt like that, divides by three. 33 plus 27 equals 60. It's a double of this him. So whether you talk about him, as in God, or you sing a hymn to him, You've got 30 and double 30 sitting right beside each other. Let's sing a hymn to him. To who? The triune God. Three persons that you're worshiping. God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Open your Bible to Genesis. When the Lord, Jehovah, we solved that word Jehovah for number three, when Jehovah shows up to Abraham, three physical men are standing in front of Abraham. The Trinity showed up in human bodily form in front of Abraham at the age of 99, for the glory of the number three. Read your Bible. Open Genesis to that story. Three men. God is three persons. <clears throat> and we sing a hymn to him, as in the three of them, in perfect harmony, you know? Okay, so my man. This is my man. And then you can put the word only in there, or the word soul. This is my soul man. This is my only man. Only divides by three. Soul divides by three. My only man. <whistles> only is um, 27 plus 39. Wait a second. That adds to 66 perfectly. See that? 
genius. And that was the word I got, honestly, before I even uh, got this word, said this word soul. I was thinking my only man. Only equals 66. My man equals 66. It's divine. So say this now. My only man. That's what a wife is supposed to say. That's what a woman is supposed to say. My only man. You are my only man, you know, and then the 36 plus the 24 following the Y from you, you are just more threes. Just that, my man. So, you can, you know, if you want to make teams of three, you can put these together and then like this together. You can put the Y with, the, you know, an A and M together and then an M and N together. Simple. My man. My man. This is love, people. And we say this is love, that's 54, that's to uh, 138. Amazing. And people divides by three. So when I say this is love, people, that divides by three. My man. You know, your spouse is literally God's best creation for you. It really is God's, like of all the things obviously that God's created in this world that you will associate with, your spouse is God's best creation for you. And he ordained you to be with this, that person. That's why, you know, people that haven't met that person yet don't understand certain things communicated in certain love songs. 